William McCoy here with Karen Dealers. So let's talk about the two main differences between an ICE vehicle, a internal, internal combustion engine vehicle, and an EV, an electric vehicle. On the outside, these two vehicles may seem similar, but there are some key differences between those vehicles. So on an ICE vehicle, which is what we're normally used to, an internal combustion in engine vehicle, design-wise, there are gonna be features that you, you recognize. For instance, the fuel tank, right? It's gonna be in the, usually the rear of the vehicle, right? The design of the wheels, the engine uh, compartment, the trunk space, those things are gonna be the same. However, it's gonna be different on a EV. The main differences when it comes to the fueling is that instead of having a gasoline uh, nozzle port, you're gonna have a electrical port, right? On the front of the vehicle, on most of these vehicles, since there is no engine compartment, it's going to allow you to have more trunk space. Also, you will have additional trunk space in the back. And depending on what type of vehicle it is, it'll also give you more spatial room inside the vehicle because again, there's no engine and the battery or the, the engine, I guess you would say in that vehicle sits under the car instead of in the front uh, part of the vehicle. Let's talk about maintenance on these vehicles. On your ICE vehicle, you're going to have your regularly scheduled routine maintenance, things like oil changes, fluid changes, engine check, those type of things are gonna be on your, your uh, ICE vehicle. On the other side with your EV, you're not gonna have those things. You may have tire rotation. You may go in for a service check every once in a while, but it won't be the same level of service check that you would need on an internal combustion vehicle or an ICE vehicle. The third thing that we're gonna talk about on these vehicles is fueling and fueling costs. So. On the internal combustion engine vehicle or the ICE vehicle, you're going to be able to fuel that vehicle with gasoline typically or diesel, whatever it may be. And you'll have a limited supply of places that you can do that. You may have a gas tank, an emergency gas tank in, that, in the car, or you can do it at a gas station. On the other side of that, on the EV vehicle, there are a lot more options when it comes to charging. You can charge your vehicle at home. You'll also be able to charge your vehicle at uh, shopping centers or rest stations or anywhere that you have an electrical uh, outlet or electrical source, you'll be able to charge that vehicle. Um, also, because of this, it makes it a lot more convenient as the infrastructure uh, for EVs grow. Also, according to a 2008 study done with the Michigan Transportation Authority, the on average, a gasoline vehicle is going to cost you about $1,400 per year to fuel. Whereas on the EV side, an EV is gonna cost you maybe about $483 to fuel per year. Hey guys, it's William McCoy here again with Current Dealers, your complete EV charging and solar power solution. Please feel free to like us on all the social media platforms. Um, also, feel free to comment. We wanna hear your comments. We love to hear, continue this discussion um, offline as well. Feel free to contact us either by email or by using the chat feature on our website and also in the comment section below. Talk to you soon.